Do struts go bad? Do they really need to be replaced? Alright, I've gotten this comment a few times. Hey, do I really need to replace my struts? Or, I've never replaced my struts. You know, am I supposed to? Um, typically, my answer is yes. At some point in a vehicle's lifespan, the struts are going to need to be replaced. A couple of ways you can tell when they're on the car is if you're driving down the road and, you know, you hit a bump and it just keeps the front or the back end or both just keeps bouncing and bouncing and bouncing and it doesn't stabilize that's what they should do so if it's just bouncing that's a good indication that it's not dampening that's why these are called dampers um, so it's not dampening that rebound so the rebound just keeps going and going from the springs um, another way you can tell and I got two examples right here you can see this lower half right here how it's all dark and it's got this oily film on there where this one doesn't it's just dirty you can clearly see how right about there it just turns dark that's an indication that the oil is leaking from the inside, leaking out, and these are going bad. Um, right here is another indication, or another one similar, but it's not quite as easy to tell. You can see, you know, the grimy buildup from right about the boot right here down, and this off the same vehicle is not doing that. So when you look at your vehicle, you can tell by that, or you can feel it, um, but the best way is to take them all apart and then... Um, test them that way and I'll show you how to do that but obviously that's a little more of a pain in the butt because you got to take it off the vehicle and take them apart so um, typically that would not be the way you would uh, normally diagnose it all right now I'm just gonna take my Brannock 7400 uh, strut spring compressor this is a little bit older model they have a newer model now I don't remember what it is 7600 maybe uh, in any event I'm gonna take this and take the struts apart and then show you how to quote-unquote book test these things all right, there you can see it's taken apart. Now, these springs are under considerable amount of tension and uh, can definitely do some bodily injury. So don't take these apart unless you have the proper tools. But here you can see I have this strut taken apart. This is one of the ones that doesn't really have much signs of leaking. In fact, I don't really see any signs of leaking there. Um, but the way we test it, um, we want this thing to come back. It's, it's fully extended right now. When we press it down, we want it to come back. It needs to rebound back. Um, and let's, uh, now typically you would put a piece of wood down and then test it on there, but these things are junk. I'm not putting them back on a car. But we'll just press it down. And you can see this is really easy. It should be a little stiffer than that. And we have nothing. Not coming back at all. So this thing was junk. It wasn't doing anything. And did I write it down? Yeah, this was off a of Civic with 240,000 miles. Um, and a lot of the times the other question I get is when should I replace them? Well, obviously, if you notice that they're not working properly, you know, excessive bouncing or you see leaks, they should be replaced. Typically, it's in the between 150 and 2,000 mile range. That's typically when I see them, at least out here where I live. Where you live, it might be a different uh, scenario, but that's typical of where I live. Okay, here's the, here's the one that uh, showed evidence of a leak. Uh, you can see all the crap down the side there, like I pointed out before. So we'll do the same test. We'll just push down. Oh, that was like nothing. It looks like it has a little bit left in the end there, maybe. Uh, see, not much. But yeah, you can see it's not doing anything. I felt a tiny bit of resistance at one point. But for most of the travel, there was literally no resistance. So this thing is garbage also. All right, I got another one here. Now this one was on the same vehicle as that one, the one that was leaking. So let's do the same test. We'll just push down. Now that one has a little more resistance. Let's we'll see if how the rebound looks. And you can see it's coming back. This one might have had a little bit of life, life left in it. You know, maybe you could have left it on there for five or 10,000 more miles. But in all honesty, it's not doing that great. And when you have one bad one, you're your best just to replace them both, which is what I did. All right, we got another one here. This one was off an Accord with 190,000 miles. You could see there was no obvious signs of leaking. So let's do our test. Push it in. And it's coming back a little bit. But I remember this car. This car was bouncing like a rubber ball down the road. These things weren't doing anything. So you can see, even with them rebounding slightly like this, because this is really slow, um, 
they're still bad. So another example, it's hard to tell just visualizing it or looking at it, but when you ride in it, you could tell because that thing was just going boing, boing, boing right down the road. All right, this strut right here came off the same vehicle. I pressed it down and it rebounded a tiny bit to right there and now I can't pull it back out even to do another test. So this one's bad too. All right, here's the other one that was leaking. So we'll do the same test and see what it does. Nothing, not even rebounding at all. So this thing wasn't doing anything. All right, now I'll show you a good one. This is a used strut, but it's a known good. So we'll just go ahead and do our same test. Press down. Now I can feel it's quite a bit stiffer and it's a smooth all the way down. And we'll watch it rebound. You can see it steadily rebounds back up. That's a good indication of a good strut. So you can see it, it went all the way back out. So that right there is a good strut. We could put that back on the car and feel confident that it would work. Well, there you go. Hope you enjoy this little demonstration on struts. Yes, they go bad over time. Usually it's so incremental that a lot of times the owner doesn't notice um, just because it's so gradual. Needs a fresh set of eyes, i.e. the mechanic. So, hey, man, hey, if the video helped you out, you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.